The Web.com Tour is in Indiana for the United Leasing and Finance Championship, and round one was suspended due to darkness from Victoria National Golf Club. Start on the 15th with Oliver Goss for birdie from about 15 feet out. Started his day with a double bogey on the first, but he had six birdies on the card on Thursday, so it was a grind, but he ended up T41 and even par. Over to 13 with Wesley Bryan, who is coming off his win at the El Bosque Mexico Championship. Here's his approach on the par four. He was coming off a birdie on 12 and set himself up. Had a few feet left for another one right here. Bit of an up and down round for Wesley. Went on to shoot a one under 71, so he is T20 heading into the second round. Over to nine with Martin Flores. Four birdie coming off a bogey on eight. Looking to get it back here. He was three under heading into the 18th hole. And a double bogey put him back at T20 and one under heading into Friday. And also on nine, Seamus Power had a great start to his round on the back nine, carding four birdies, but ran into some trouble coming in going bogey double on seven and eight. So ended on a good note there with a birdie to get back to a tie for fifth. And Craig Barlow on 15 with his third shot on the par five. Had a very pretty scorecard so far with five birdies and no bogeys on the card. Let roll that one down. Still had some work left to do for another birdie. But he would end up doubling the 16th and bogeying the 18th. So he fell back to three under and T5. But over to Greg Chalmers on the 13th with his approach. Trying to get to five under coming off a of birdie on 12. He almost holds it and spins it back. Just a tap in left for birdie. He would give it back on 14 and 17, had a bogey as well, but on 18 had an opportunity for one last birdie to get it to four under. And he is T2, three shots off the lead, held by Bobak Patel.